President Robert Mugabe's party has won at least a two-thirds majority in, in the Zimbabwean parliament, enough to amend the country's constitution, according to a tally of official results. Friday's results showed Mugabe had won 142 seats of 180 for the 210, member chamber declared by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. Mugabe's rival and Prime Minister, Morgan Svangire, has called the poll a huge farce, amid allegations of electoral irregularities and manipulation. Svangire's Movement for Democratic Change, MDC, said it could take to the streets to challenge the result if the 89-year-old leader and his party, ZANU-PF, won the vote. Fairly fair. The African Union's observer mission chief declared Zimbabwe's elections as fairly fair and credible, while observers from the Southern African Development Community, SADC, praised them for being free and peaceful. The O said on Friday it was reserving its judgment on whether the elections were systematically flawed until details of the disputed vote were clarified. The SADC added that it was too early to declare Zimbabwe's disputed election fair. However, Former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo, who heads the OS vote monitoring mission, said on Friday that flaws in the electoral process had not stopped the will of the people from being expressed. Obasanjo told Al Jazeera that the assessment that the omission had of the presidential and general elections was that they were fairly fair. We justified that by the process which led to the election itself, it was free, he said. Independent assessors had found a bias in Zimbabwe's media and said that though 99.97% of rural voters were registered, only 67.94% of urban voters made it to the voters' roll. However, Obasanjo told Al Jazeera that the O had a team in Zimbabwe for the election campaign from June 15 and that it had found that anyone who wanted to register had registered. Figures questioned. I do not know how people come to these figures. Obasanjo said of the independent assessment in his interview with Al Jazeera. You do not wait until the 31st of July to complain about registration. If the registration had not gone well you will have complained when the registration was going on or immediately after the completion of the registration. Obasanjo said that the campaign had been fair and free and the O had not found any issues of hindrance during the campaign. He said earlier that voting was peaceful but that observers noted incidences that could have been avoided and even tended to have breached the law. The mission is asking election authorities in Zimbabwe to investigate reports that large numbers of eligible voters were turned away from polling stations. The SADC said in a written statement that the elections dismissed by Tsvangire as a sham were free and peaceful. Bernard Membe, the SADC's top election observer, later qualified the statement. We have said this election is free, indeed very free, he said. We didn't say it was fair simply because the question of fairness is broad. We didn't just want to come to a conclusion at this stage. Tsvangire said on Thursday that the election's credibility had been marred by administrative and legal violations. His comments came on the heels of remarks made by the Zimbabwe Election Support Network, ZESN, a coalition of local non-government organizations monitoring elections in the country, which earlier described Wednesday's vote as seriously compromised. Up to a million voters were disenfranchised, Solomon Zwana, the chairman of ZESN, said on Thursday. The mood on the streets of the capital Harare was subdued on Friday as the MDC's top leadership met at its headquarters to chart their next move, with everything from a legal challenge to street protests on the table. Demonstrations and mass action are options, party spokesman Douglas Mwanzara said.